From Seed to Pie with Miss Hannah. Hi friends, it's Miss Hannah, and today we're going to be talking about pumpkins. Has anybody ever been to a pumpkin patch before? Or maybe a farm where they grow pumpkins? The farmer's market is another great place to see pumpkins and other squashes. You know, you should ask your family to take you to the farmer's market this month because we're going to be learning all about pumpkins and winter squashes and I really want you to see them for yourselves. I have something I want to show you. Are you ready? Alrighty, check it out. What is this? It's a pumpkin. A pretty big pumpkin. Do you know what color pumpkins are? Orange. Great job! Did you know that yellow and orange vegetables like pumpkins and squashes are really good for our skin, for our eyes, and for our hair? And they also are really good for our bodies because they help strengthen our immune system so that we can fight off sicknesses. Are there any yellow or orange vegetables that you like to eat? Really? I like those vegetables too. My favorites are squashes. I love yellow squash. It's so fun to talk about vegetables with you. I have a good idea. Let's read a book together. What do you think? All right, let's go. And this book is called The Biggest Pumpkin Ever by Stephen Crow and illustrated by Jenny Bassett. Once, there were two mice who fell in love with the same pumpkin. Clayton, the house mouse, noticed it one day in the vegetable garden. It was still a little green, but Clayton thought he could make it grow really big. It might even get big enough to win the grand prize at the town pumpkin contest. Desmond, the field mouse, discovered the pumpkin the same day and he thought if he helped it grow, it would become the biggest jack-o'-lantern in the neighborhood. That afternoon, Clayton watered the pumpkin. He also mixed up some fertilizer of manure and water. He spread the mixture around the pumpkin and to make it grow larger. That very same night, Desmond went into the garden. He watered the pumpkin too. He also sprayed some manure mixed with water around it. The next day, Clayton watered and fertilized the pumpkin again. And the next night, Desmond did the same, and the big pumpkin began to grow. First it started out on a vine, and it's small and green. He gave it water and fertilizer, and the green pumpkin is getting a little bigger. And now, it's almost as big as him. By the end of the month, the pumpkin was so large, Clayton couldn't believe his eyes. My goodness, said Clayton's mother, and it's not even full grown. Clayton shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. Clayton's mother whispered in his ear. If you want the pumpkin to grow bigger faster, she said, you should use sugar water. And that night, Desmond brought his brother Morris to see the pumpkin. Morris knew everything there was to know about growing things. That's some pumpkin, he said. Desmond shrugged. All I do is water it, he said. Morris whispered in his ear. You should try using sugar water, he said. The next day, Clayton dug a small hole beside the pumpkin vine, and in the hole, he placed a bowl full of sugar water. He cut into the vine a few inches from the pumpkin, and in the cut, he put one end of a piece of candle wick. Then, he put the other end in the bowl of sugar water. And that night, on the other side of the pumpkin, Desmond did exactly the same thing. And within a week, the pumpkin was twice the size that it had been. And within two weeks, it was absolutely enormous. Clayton was amazed. He ran down the road and peeked into his friend Jimmy's pumpkin patch. The pumpkin Jimmy was growing for the contest 
looked much smaller. Clayton scratched his head. I have an amazing pumpkin, he said aloud, and I think I'm going to win the contest. That night, Desmond and his brother Morris spent a long time looking at the pumpkin. How do you think it got that big? Desmond asked. Morris shrugged. A little luck, a little skill. It's going to make some jack-o'-lantern, said Desmond. It sure is, said Morris. A week later, Clayton noticed the pumpkin was bigger than the family car. During the day, everyone he came by, everyone he knew came by to admire it. And at night, all the field mice gathered around to do the same thing. By now, summer was almost over. In a week, the pumpkin would be full grown and start turning yellowish and then orange. A few weeks after that, it would be ripe and ready for the pumpkin contest. Clayton could hardly wait. The pumpkin was growing so fast, it would soon be larger than his house. Then he had a terrible thought. If the pumpkin was so big, how would he get it to the contest? It wouldn't fit in his red wagon, and it wouldn't even fit in the truck. Clayton decided to worry about this when the time came. That night, the weather grew colder. Thinking there might be an early frost, Clayton rushed out to the pumpkin with his blanket. One was not enough. Soon, he was rushing back and forth, carrying all the blankets from the house. As he worked, he hummed a little song. And as he hummed, he heard someone else singing. He also began to realize that someone else was covering the pumpkin with blankets. Desmond, too, had seen the danger of an early frost. He, too, had brought the blankets for the pumpkin. And as he worked, he sang a little song. And as he sang, he began to realize that someone else was working and humming. Oh no, there's two mice working on the pumpkin. Let's see what happens. Clayton stopped humming. He put down his pile of blankets and peered around the corner of the pumpkin. Desmond stopped singing. He put his blankets down and peered around the corner of the pumpkin. You! The two of them had bumped heads and fell down. You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Clayton. You've been feeding the pumpkin, said Desmond. That's why it got so big. That's why it got so big, said Desmond. They burst out laughing. When everything had been explained, Clayton said, I know I'll win the contest if I can get the pumpkin to town. Desmond smiled. I'll help you. Just let me carve the pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween when the contest is over. It's a deal, said Clayton. A deal, said Desmond, and they shook on it. The morning of the contest was bright and sunny. Mice were bringing their pumpkins to the town square by truck, car, and wagon. Some were even rolling them on the ground. Suddenly, they all stopped short. Over the fields came the biggest pumpkin that anyone had ever seen. It was being pulled by a hundred field mice on motorcycles. When the pumpkin reached town, it was too big for any of the streets. Clayton had to explain why they couldn't bring it to the square. The mayor understood at once. He led the crowd to the giant pumpkin and pinned the first prize ribbon on its side. Then everyone danced around it. Who would have believed this, said Clayton as he danced. Who would have believed this, said Desmond at the same moment. They're really proud of the pumpkin they grew. And when the celebration was over, the hundred field mice pulled the pumpkin back to the field. The day before Halloween, they carved it into the best jack-o'-lantern ever. Check it out, my friends. They're cutting eyes. And they took out the pumpkin seeds and the insides 
after they carve their pumpkin. And on Halloween night, its wonderful smiling face could have been seen glowing for miles around. What a great story to learn about how pumpkins grow. Do you remember how to grow a pumpkin? First, you need the seed, and then you put the seed in the soil. You give it water and sunshine, and then you get a vine. After the vine comes a flower, and then comes a small green pumpkin, just like the one we see here. And they give it more and more water so it can get bigger and bigger and bigger. Do you remember what happens to the pumpkin with lots of water and sunshine? You're right, it turns into a large orange pumpkin. These are the pumpkins we see at the farmer's market and the store. I'm so happy we could read that book together about how pumpkins grow. Do you remember what they did with the pumpkin after they picked it? Did they eat the pumpkin? No. What did they do with the pumpkin? They carved the pumpkin. That's right, I remember now. They carved the pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. Have you ever carved a pumpkin before? Did you know that after you're done carving your pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern, then you can use the seeds and the other insides to make foods with pumpkin in them because pumpkin is a vegetable that you eat. Have you ever tried pumpkin? I've tried pumpkin too. Do you know of any foods that have pumpkin in them? You do? That's great. I want to share some foods that I like to eat with pumpkin in them. Let's go. You can make pumpkin a healthy snack by roasting the seeds inside. You could have pumpkin hummus. There's always pumpkin soup. You could have roasted pumpkin in the oven. It's not as healthy for you, but you could have pumpkin bread or pumpkin pie. Wow, those all look delicious. Some of them were sweet, like pumpkin pie, and others were salty, like pumpkin soup. Have you tried any of those foods with pumpkin? Me too. And I want to say that the healthiest way to have pumpkin is normally salty so that you don't have a bunch of extra sugar that your body doesn't need. Remember, pumpkin is a vegetable that you eat, so don't forget to eat your pumpkins. Until next time.